had to smash their way through, but they made it. It's fine. Strike force. Depth charge throwers makes us better against submarines, though, again, not a huge problem that we've been facing recently. But just in case they somehow get more depth charge throwing technology somewhere, useful to have. Let's deploy them there. You need another general as well. Okay, so we have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of troops available to us. We now just need to prepare the naval invasions. And I think I'm going to go in through here. So Provence. Bermuda. To Provence. To New York. Philadelphia. That didn't work. Bermuda. Philadelphia. And to Boston, I think. So we want one, two, three of you on New York. One, two, three of you. We'll go with two to Boston. Two to Philly. Attento. And then we just need to fill in the sides with regular infantry attacks. So we'll put two of you there. And this naval invasion will take a bit of preparing to do. And there we go. That's going to be the naval invasion of the United States right there. And this is going to take... A long time to prepare. Oh, only 10 days. 17 days. So it'll take 17 days. And we have an airbase. Guess we'll have to make up a name for this operation. Yeah, please do. I'm intrigued. What would you call this? The, the, the Italian invasion of America. I already know what I would call it. I feel like they're going to kill them all once they've landed. We shall see. The United States does at this point have 400 divisions-ish. So we need to make sure that we have support units that are really not far away, particularly the armor. So Bermuda is about to become a very, 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 very busy location. Yunnan has capitulated. Good. Let's try that again. Off they go. Then I want you lot. Oh man, you're not trained. Uh, you may as well be on the Azores, honestly. I 
gets you there. Um, Reds, you're still fighting in the south. Ordini. And then I'm going to send all of these three Pronto. to basically act as the front line. Pronto. I'm going to spread you out around Africa. a bit too far away. Seeing as I could also use France. I just want you in the ports. Every single one of you is occupying a port, so that you can sail out immediately. Operation Attack the Kraken. Drowning Eagle. Oh, that's good. Uncle Ben's retirement plan. Pineapple on pizza. Pizza Tower. Pizza Delivery. Crush the American Dream. Fruity de Mer. Staten Island. Crush Democracy. Really? Nobody called this Operation Mario? I'm shocked. Although I guess that would be more of a Japanese invasion of America. I think of those, I quite like Drowning Eagle. I would have to say the Drowning Eagle. This is going to be Operation Drowning Eagle right here. So, we are almost... Wait, where are you guys? Oh, you're still sailing. Interesting. So even though the plan is almost ready... You haven't actually arrived here. I'm surprised that this has taken only... Communist China has capitulated. Taken 17 days to prepare. That's quite amazing. Improved ship torpedo launches. Okay. Right. <laughs> we are quite far behind in lots of things. Let's get those. Let's get that. Let's get that. And there we are. We have secured complete naval superiority in this region. As I had hoped. Let's also protect all of that. We could really do with more destroyers, but there are more destroyers coming out. You two are going to be recon. And you should be going up to two light cruisers, which will take one of those. That's an extra destroyer. You are still lacking three destroyers, so why is that destroyer not joining you? Doesn't matter. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Pronto, signore. As soon as these guys arrive... We're starting to take a little bit of attrition. Have the tanks arrived yet? No, the tanks are still on the way, but that's okay. Got two levels of, oh no, one level of port already done. Who's my UK for struggling? Are you saying you need more? Oh boy, you need a lot more to keep the peace here. Okay, um, you. join them. Otherwise, we need to constantly do repairs. When you do small two division naval invasions, it takes only seven days times two on tier one landing crafts, even if they all start from the same port. Interesting. Pronto, signore. Okay, we are all here. We are ready to do this. So I'm going to take a two minute break right now and then we will do the naval invasion after this. I know that I'm supposed to have finished this stream 20 minutes ago. I'm going to keep going for another hour or so until about 10 I would say. Um, just because I'm really enjoying this and I kind of want to finish this series today. So I'm going to take a two minute break. If you need to take a break, use this time as well. I'm just going to run a quick advert while it's going. 
and then we shall resume in two minutes, and that is going to be the invasion of the United States of America. See you then. All right, it's time. It is time for Operation Drowning Eagle. Let's do this. Attento. All right, Marines are departing. Associated units with Marines also departing. Let's see what we can do. So close. We are definitely losing a couple things here to uh, aircraft, but we are sinking their navies, so there shouldn't be anyone in our way actually stopping the landings. We lost another cruiser, that's a recon. Camera's out of focus. Hopefully it just auto adjusts. See what setting it's on. It is currently on auto, so hopefully it works it out. Come on, I'm here. Is that working at all? Because 
you guys already see me in a fairly small corner. My corner is even smaller because I just have like a tiny little preview window, so it's always hard for me to tell that type of thing. Anyway, here go all of the attacks. It looks like they've got quite a few areas defending at the moment. All of the naval attacks are failing right now. I was kind of hoping that we would have more landings ready, but the marine attacks are just getting annihilated. They've got 14 divisions defending. 14! Alright, here come the landings outside of the main attacks. Unfortunately, this is all going to be struggling somewhat. Because we don't have any ports. So what we could potentially do is try to take this. Let's have you stand there. Go around the back, you can. So my plan right now is if we can hold on to this little peninsula, then I can just start building a port here. And that's my best chance right now. We could also try to build a port there. Give it a go. No, you both ran the wrong way. Bugger. This has been an unmitigated disaster. There's just too many of them. Because we've done such a great job blocking America from doing anything else. Uh, Fortress America is just too big at now. Like, I'd win this eventually, but it would be one hell of a grind. Um, right, Marine units. Let's cancel your current objectives. And then say, naval invasion from here. We're going to have to attack Florida. Not even Florida would do. The best spot really is going to be this. We'd need to basically throw everything at these two provinces. Mexico's in the Allies. America would just move troops down to them. That went from Drowning Eagle to Drowning Sparrow. Yeah, unfortunately it looks like all 500 American divisions are in America. Or at least 499 of them. So, let's see. What actually survived? Where are you guys? Oh, you never left. Interesting. So, we are left with 12 divisions, so we're going to need another 12 of these to replace those losses. Although, what I can also do is grab half of them and assign these guys to there. So they would just need to sail out to... Bermuda. And now with this many troops defending here, hopefully we can just dig in, basically, while we build a naval base on the little peninsula. 
And once we have a naval base, supply starts flowing, we're fine. It'll be one hell of a grind though, way more than I have time for in half an hour. So let's just force march this. <laughs> How's the air status? We can't reach there, I don't think. Uh, maybe tactical bombers. Even tack bombers would struggle. I'm going to grab every single tactical bomber that I have. And then every single heavy fighter, I think, as well. Close air support. Close air support. Attack bomber. Heavy fighters. I don't think heavy fighters can even reach. Yeah, every time I take America, it's always via Canada. Canada's easily the easiest way of doing it. I just wanted to try something different. The problem with Canada is it's a huge grind because you have to deal with all the terrible infrastructure up there. So it just takes longer. I was kind of hoping that I could come in with a knockout punch, but with 500 divisions defending the United States, that's not looking likely. Pronto, signore. Yeah, none of the heavy fighters can actually reach. So I'm going to pull all of you back. To here. And you can join in after we've actually got a landing ground and an airbase, which will have to be the other thing we build. Commandy. Of supply issues, we're going to be arriving with half supply, half organization. Why is only one guy going? Um, excuse me. Oh, because attack wasn't actually ready yet. Never mind. In that case, tanks need to back off again. The benefit to this, of course, is that I will now actually have supply here, so these guys will be fully supplied and good to go. With full organization, I might even be able to just train them for a bit longer. That one guy is the Italian version of Chuck Norris. He kind of is. Got any transport planes? No. And they would be out of range easily. Transport planes have a range of about this. They're actually really short range. And there are no upgrades to increase that. Um. Oh yeah, I was trying to research my own tanks, wasn't I? Commandy. So in November-ish, we'll be ready. 
Japan took 24 states, Guangxi, Communist China, Shaanxi, Zhibai, Sanma, Dutoro, Xinjiang, Yunnan, Free Empire, Reorganized Government of China. All puppeted. Ugh. Well done, China. Uh, Japan, even. GG, China. And now it's just... It's basically just America and Canada. And a little bit of the uh, Australia left. I think this is probably one of the more complete games I've ever played of this. Attento. Do these units have anti-tank? They do. That's good. Against America, that's very, very good. And we do actually have a surplus of them now. Marvelous. Pronto all'azione. Five, six, seven, eight. Attento. And then I need to train another eight of these. So we're actually training twenty. Not twenty-one. Twenty. Because it looks like the Africa si, plans are going quite well. Pronto, signore. Any promotions for you? Pronto, signore. Somewhat surprised you don't have Desert Fox. Pronto, signore. Poor old Balbo being completely hamstrung. He's got very good logistics, crikey. Should have used him in the Russia campaign. Comandi. And Messe, of course. With all of his tank division sitting in the Azores. Hopefully enjoying his holidays there. Oh, Germany is actually going through the Caribbean right now. AI doing good naval invasions? What is this? Uh, no, I don't have anyone set to naval invasion support. That's a very good idea. I should probably do it with these. October. 14 days left. So beginning of November, we'll stop the training. The majority of the troops will have been trained up by that point. And we'll give it a go. What's the American Navy sitting at now? Less than 50 ships. Or maybe 50 exactly. In other words, not great. Should. Let's give him Balbo. They use less supply. Pronto, signore. Si, signore. Only problem is he's got even less experience with the um, invader trait. Formazione. Unfortunately, the naval invasions were so short-lived that I don't think he really gained any. It wasn't Solari, it was you. Invader, 29%. Yeah, Invader is one of the easier ones to train. Okay, it's November. Stop training. Ten more days. Plus, we have to wait for you to actually arrive, which is going to be in seven days. AT is done. Let's get the next level. Let's keep building all of that up. What's I saying about doing good naval invasions? It looks like they just lost. Well, then again. Maybe they just got distracted. Netherlands has capitulated, so Suriname has just fallen. Formazione. He 
he's here. He's ready. Save the game real quick. Come on. Off you go, Balbo. Show me how it's done. Really bad if they'd held on to that. Oh boy. Alright, we're in. Now we just need to hold that one position. Uh, damn it. game. <sighs> Building bug. Let's try that again. Also, a bunch of people have followed. Sorry that I missed that. Let's see where we're up to. Mizushix, Tropus Cards. Oh no, Tsunami already did. Tough Wolf, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Right, are we actually building the thing? We are building the thing. Build the thing! More! Faster! Also airbase. Oh, we can't do an airbase here. That's unfortunate. Oh, they can actually really easily breach. Interesting. Preparatevi! Ha. Huh. Can't do last stand. There's too many of you. El Salvador joined Co-Prosperity Sphere. Japan joined the Co-Prosperity Sphere. Dominican Republic joined the Co-Prosperity Sphere. Actually, the other thing we should probably do is prepare an attack on all of this. So when is this done? 25th of December. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Alright, so my marines are now fully upgraded. Let's get better engineers. Peru joined the greater co-prosperity sphere. So far, so good. <laughs> Man running through the streets of Boston. The Italians are coming. The Italians are coming. That's a bit of a bigger one. 16 divisions against my 24. Lots of tactical bombers involved. So it occurs to me that you can only have, I think, seven wings involved in the battle at any time. So how about we make these bigger?
far so good. Oh boy! Someone's having a bit of fun at my expense with their air force. <laughs> Fifteen days remaining. They already do shore bombardment. If you have them set to naval invasion, then they will shore bombard anyone in that uh, area automatically. That's why they were being bombed. We already lost two heavy cruisers because of it. Thank goodness for that warning. Yeah, we need to not do this anymore. In fact, the entirety of the other fleet was apparently sunk. Oh, no, they weren't. I just accidentally disbanded them. Liberia has capitulated. That must mean that we're winning in Africa now. Oh, yeah, we are. Germany suddenly appeared. Suddenly a wild Germany appears. Thankfully, we've got pretty good defenses in these units. And the Marines have the extra out-of-supply abilities. They're going to be less affected by the loss of organization than everyone else. scary that it keeps on fielding my low organization units first because if they ever all lose we all retreat Formazione. so I think at this point I kind of want all of these guys to retreat so that the marines can come in okay the marines are coming in 24 24 25 Port si, signore. Tanks Get over here <laughs> Flipping hell And they've done it Pronto, They've actually pushed signore. us back Hold Hold no! We have to attack with everything right now. Because so if they ever attack us, we can't recover organization. Yeah, see, now they're attacking us, we'll, we can't win this now. And that happens. Unless, of course, the tanks arrive before they do. Nope. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I, I know I can do this. It would just take a massive amount of grinding. Uh, it would either involve an invasion of Mexico or an invasion of Canada, but I've done both of those before. Um, so I'm going to call it here. 
If you've enjoyed this series, because this is going to be the last episode of this, then please do hit that follow button. Or if you are watching this on YouTube, then hit that subscribe button because there will be plenty more stuff like this in the past. I, th I, I hope I've done justice to like introducing you all into how exactly Heart of Iron works and plays and also the possibilities and the madness that can ensue. If you have enjoyed this, then do consider becoming a patron, which you can find over at patreon.com slash mordredviking. I do also have a YouTube channel, which if you're watching on Twitch, you may not know about. You can find that over on youtube.com slash mordredviking. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, then go find me over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash mordredviking, which is where I record basically all of my series live, as this one has been. Then finally, I do have a Discord. If you want to come hang out with the community, you can find us at this link here, or you can go to discord.gg slash mordredviking. Uh, it's always a real pleasure to see some new faces over there, so come say hello. If you have any questions about Heart of Iron or any of the other games that I play, then you can almost always find answers to them over there. I'm going to take an hour break because I still want something to eat. I've kind of run over a bit so we will be switching to darkest dungeon but that's going to be at uh, 11 o'clock so one hour's time from now we'll do darkest dungeon anyway thank you everyone for watching hope to see you next time goodbye